Healing for your sexuality is available. This is a very hopeful truth. But you must realize that your sexuality is deep and core to your nature as a human being. And therefore, sexual brokenness can be one of the deepest types of brokenness a person might experience. You must take your healing and restoration seriously. This guided prayer will help immensely. You might find that you need to pray through it a few times in order to experience a lasting freedom. Now, a bit of explanation on the reasons for the prayer. First, when we misuse our sexuality through sin, we give Satan an open door to oppress us in our sexuality. A man who uses pornography, for example, will find himself in a very deep struggle with lust. A woman who was sexually active before marriage may find herself wrestling with sexual temptation years later. So it's important to bring our sexuality under the Lordship and therefore the protection of Jesus Christ and seek his cleansing of our sexual sins. Second, sexual brokenness, whether through abuse of our sexuality by our own actions or by the actions of others, can create sexual difficulties and also opens the door for the enemy to oppress us. Quite often, forgiveness is needed, both the confidence that we are forgiven by the Lord and the choice we make to forgive others. This will prove immensely freeing. Let's begin by bringing our lives and sexuality under the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, I confess here and now that you are my creator and therefore the creator of my sexuality. I confess that you are also my savior, that you have ransomed me with your blood. I have been bought with the blood of Jesus Christ. My life and my body belong to God. Jesus, I present myself to you now to be made whole and holy in every way, including in my sexuality. You ask us to present our bodies to you as living sacrifices and the parts of our bodies as instruments of righteousness. And so I do this now. I present my body, my sexuality as a man or as a woman, and I present my sexual nature to you. I consecrate my sexuality to Jesus Christ. Next, you need to renounce the ways you have misused your sexuality. And the more specific you can be, the more helpful this prayer will be. God created your sexuality for pleasure and joy within the context of the marriage covenant. Sexual activity outside of marriage can be very damaging to a person and to their relationships. What you want to do in this part of the prayer is confess and renounce all sexual sin. For example, sexual intimacy outside of marriage, not only intercourse, but other forms of sexual intimacy, such as mutual masturbation or oral sex. Many people assume these don't really count as sin because they didn't result in actual intercourse. However, there was sexual stimulation and intimacy outside marriage. Keep in mind, there's the spirit of the law and the letter of the law. What matters are issues of the heart and mind as well as the body. Other examples of sins to renounce would be extramarital affairs, the use of pornography, and sexual fantasies. You may know exactly what you need to confess and renounce. You may need to ask God's help to remember Take your time here. As memories and events come to mind, confess and renounce them. For example, Lord Jesus, I ask your forgiveness for my sins of masturbation and using pornography. I renounce those sins in your name. After you've confessed your sins, go on with the rest of the prayer. Jesus, I ask your Holy Spirit to help me now remember Confess and renounce my sexual sins. And then pause for a moment and listen. Remember, confess and renounce. 
Lord Jesus, I ask your forgiveness for every act of sexual sin. You promised that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I ask you to cleanse me of my sexual sins now. Cleanse my body, my soul, my spirit. Cleanse my heart and mind and will. Cleanse my sexuality. Thank you for forgiving me and cleansing me. I receive your forgiveness and cleansing, and I renounce every claim I have given Satan to my life or sexuality through my sexual sins. Those claims are now broken by the cross and blood of Jesus Christ. Next comes forgiveness. It's vital that you forgive both yourself and those who have harmed you sexually. Now listen carefully. Forgiveness is a choice. We often have to make the decision to forgive long before we feel forgiving. We realize this can be difficult, but the freedom you'll find will be worth it. Forgiveness is not saying it didn't hurt. Forgiveness is not saying it didn't matter. Forgiveness is the act whereby we pardon the person. We release them from all bitterness and judgment. We give them to God to deal with. Lord Jesus, I thank you for offering me total and complete forgiveness. I receive that forgiveness now, and I choose to forgive myself for all of my sexual wrongdoing. I also choose to forgive those who have harmed me sexually. Now, be specific here. Name those people and forgive them. I release them to you, Jesus. I release all my anger and judgment.